what's up everybody um, it's been a while since I made a video I figured you know all the youtubers out there and all the people making videos will be it'll be the same stuff right now you know uh, <clears throat> a couple of climbs we just hit not we just passed 9k um, that, was, that was pretty awesome but it dropped instantly you know some people are probably trying to take profits right now um, there's currently uh, from my last check right now it looks like there's a there's a little bit of a dip right now with on all alts uh, included Bitcoin you can actually see uh, an orchestrated dip on, on all of them so personally I say buy the dip um, but that's just my opinion <laughs> but we all know if you if you're if you've been in it long enough this is a good time to get into a dip right now um, there's a lot of people th theorizing that there's going to be some uh, altcoin rush, um, which I agree. Um, either way, all the alts are going to rise because of Bitcoin rising. So, in other words, uh, keep accumulating right now, dollar cost average. Pick your pony. I like to tell my I tell my friends that right now. Like pick your pony right now. If, whatever you like, whatever you believe, whatever you follow, do it. Uh, uh, the ones I'm, I'm picking, holding right now, I'm still holding on to the top two, just because of their old faith right now. Of course, hold on to Bitcoin. Uh, I picked up, I have some Ethereum. I do want to hit that that limit to stake, but man, like, uh, ain't nobody got time. Anybody got money for that? I don't have money for that. So uh, I'm doing high risk right now because I'm in a position because I want to just take this risk again and hope for a, a big boom on a, on a coin um, I do hold on some Cardano I'm a, I'm a firm believer of Cardano um, I'm just nervous that they're delaying but as long as that once they release their product and it's amazing and it, and it crushes everybody then all the delay was worth it but I know that the masses will believe that if they see it and it's just subpar or whatever to the people's belief to it it's not going to survive, so I'm really hoping for it. But um, currently, currently now, what I'm holding is just Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Cardano. I'm holding a little bit of EOS because of the news. Um, I think there's going to be a massive news right now going on the first of June. Uh, I am holding. I. I know people are going to disagree. I'm going to say this, but I'm also preparing for uh, if you're in, if you're in the west side, if you're in uh, if you're in the western side of the world in California side, which I'm in, um, I'm preparing to buy some Harmony on the public at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, it's going to be released in Binance. So. Um, I, I know, I know, I know for a fact it's gonna dump. Um, but I'm, what I, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna try to pick it up on the release, and then pick up as much profits as possible, and, and then, and then dump it at the top. We all know how Binance works. Uh, you can see it in uh, in uh, Chico Crypto. He's a firm hater of uh, of CZ and them all, but that's what I think is gonna happen with Harmony, I think there's going to be a massive dump on the release at 5 p.m. today, or 5 p.m. Friday, I'm sorry, let me clarify the date, sorry I'm about to go on a on ramp right now, but uh, 5 p.m. Friday, Pacific time, California time for me, it's going to happen, I'm going to try to get some money out of it, I have a couple of high risk ones, I don't recommend you guys doing it. Uh, if you guys, I mean, do your research kind of thing. The high risk I'm holding right now, uh, I'm holding on, on, uh, uh, what is that called? I, I forgot what it's called, but it's XCM Coins. Uh, it's an exchange that's trying to do uh, their own rendition of the IEOs. Uh, it's, it's based in London. It's going to be a competitor of Next Exchange. I think Next Exchange is actually better, but the fact that there's just this whole rush of IEOs, uh, people are trying to do it. So the value of the coin is currently three cents. It topped at twelve cents. So just trying to get collect profits from there. 
Uh, as you can tell, I'm a wannabe day trader, so that's why, I'm, that's, that's why I'm, I'm trading the way it is. I'm going off effects, of going off of like uh, patterns. Uh, I'm not an expert though. Another one I'm, I'm, I'm invested in right now is Veracity. I think uh, it's a VRA. I believe that that's going to be a, 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 a low key uh, sleeping giant. Partially because right now it doesn't have enough exchanges for it. It's trying to integrate into YouTube. Uh, Binance is trying to, to help them out with their chain. Uh, but the concept of it is basically tokenizing all the videos. And uh, it's going to be a competitor just because if they partner with YouTube, then why bother uh, moving on to another platform when you can just stay with YouTube, which has millions of users already. So I like the concept. Uh, it's still high risk because for one, uh, there hasn't been an activity on it for a couple of months already on the GitHub. So, but we'll see. Like I said, everything reacts to Bitcoin rising. So even though it's not worth anything, it's pegged to Bitcoin. Everything's pegged to Bitcoin right now. So if Bitcoin rises, I do remember uh, there's a couple coins out there that you know, jump significantly because of the of the bull run, and that's going to be one of them for sure. Another one I'm going to launch is Quant. Great project, uh, trying to unite uh, the uh, trying to unite the uh, cryptocurrencies together. Uh, very similar to like uh, ontology. Uh, great concept. Uh, I pick I picked that one up because it's also another. Uh, low market cap and uh, it's going uh, it's <clears throat> what we call it, it's a low supply so reaction to Bitcoin going up is going to be the same concept too so all these coins I'm telling you now I, I hate uh, I'm a bad person to say this but I'm, I'm going to sell them once we hit the once we hit the run uh, the one the one coins I do hold dear though that I do want to hold to the, to the end of the day is Cardano Bitcoin, of course, and, uh, and uh, Ethereum. Ethereum has been has been the reason why I got into everything here because they were the first project I studied. They were the first project that I was a part of in the, in the, in the bull run. Um, I was a part of that before the hyper bull run in December of 20, 2017. I've been researching cryptocurrencies since. 2010. Unfortunately, I was a big wuss in investing early, which kills me to know that I could have been a millionaire right now, but oh well. It is what it is, and there'll be more. Especially with this with this with this space and the potential of hit. Uh, let's just let, let me just give you guys what I what I think right now is when that bull run hit, 800 billion brought Bitcoin into the market cap space brought Bitcoin to 20K. There's trillions of dollars out there in this world that can be put into this space. And imagine uh, 1.6 trillion would be 40K. Easily. Easily we can hit a uh, trillion dollars into this space. Uh, and with, with this technology, its concepts, it's amazing that it's not where it's at now but 10 years so far it's improvements the regulations the recognition now it's amazing to see where it's at um, so just to recap where, where, why I even created this video I just wanted just to talk about where I'm at with the space where I'm at with the coins how I feel about the what's been going on lately uh, like the Craig Wright some of those weird stuff going on how he's trying there's fake news and he's trying to do that darn uh, uh, freaking uh, copyright and uh, man, that's something else but, but hey if you if you were in Bitcoin SV you got the double you doubled up now so it went from uh, what $90 to $200 now so power to you guys we whoever did but anyways um, uh, I think right now we're in a consolidation 
with Bitcoin, I I believe it's gonna keep going up. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna go low and platform itself and gonna set himself on a platform to spring up like ridiculous right now. So and right now that 10k psychological point to the uh, psychological slash FOMO level, it's gonna get insane if it passes that. I mean. Just earlier today, it's uh, 2 p.m. my time right now. Uh, just earlier in the morning, um, it, there was so much news that it passed 9K. That wasn't even a, a level of of, uh, of the. Uh, it's not even a level that people are looking for right now. So imagine if it passes the 10K. And even so, I think the the T analysis read that it's supposed to be 10. 1,200, I believe, uh, to reach its FOMO point. So, we'll see where it all goes. Um, if you guys have it, keep dollar cost averaging. Keep putting money in right now. Um, I honestly, is, I hate to, man, I, I, uh, my savings account is basically crypto, so... I think it's going to be worth it right now. I really believe if it's not now, it'll be later then. So, um, I know there's a lot of impatient people in this, in this space right now. Especially because I'm in the Cardano space and people are upset of it delaying. But, like I said, as long as they can, you know, walk the walk, all those delays that they did had, had a rhyme or reason then. Obviously, too, on the same to on the flip side, with the same token, the on the same token, it's uh, they if they release something that's not to people's standards, <laughs> we're screwed. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, other than that, if anyone has questions, uh, that's pretty much all, all off the top of my head. Uh, if anyone else has any questions. Or anything that you know, I'm willing to research for. Go uh, right ahead, ask away, and I'll I'm willing to do it. You know, I'm, I'm doing this for more of a casual sense. That's why I'm, this is more like more of my video journal entries, anyways. And just, just I want to look back at all my videos I made right now and say, man, like where we were until that moment. I look at it again, I'll be like, man, 